Today on the Mike O'Mara Show. Oh, oh dear. That's Jeez. a nice sound yeah, the there. Cool guy. It's Howard. a hassle when I'm back in your closet hanging up all your clothes. <laughs> so I'm not in the best of moods. Mike, is it a hassle to pay the mortgage? Let me just ask you that. Thanks. Question. Did you hear what Oscar said? Technically, <laughs> I pay it. Oh, the fan club thing doesn't bother me, but the, the gambling thing will always, always yes. bother me. That I told you to like, stay in your yeah, room? For, yeah. for 48 hours. And then all we get are reports of you... Drinking, gambling, hanging out with her. We're like, no, what? Get no, it. no, 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 no. Now that's not right. I was not hanging out. I was trying to hide. I was trying. That the, the whole Pony reason for that. He said he could go down to the casino and track you by smelling the cigarette butts. He <laughs> yeah. said it was like a western. Yeah, I would pick up the cigarette butt and I'm like this. It's it's still warm. He's we went near this here. Way. You are full of s. We would beat on a regular basis the teams that had. Like some sort of quarterback and playbook with the wristband <laughs> oh, on. No. Oh no! And they would get, In flag football, yes, he had a wrist, wrist, wristband would with get the plays. So oh my god! at us <laughs> because it was a skinny playbook. That's and, what they had. And and Jeremy's beat, absolutely right about that. We would beat that. them. They'd be like, "I don't know how this happened. We had prepared. We went to practice, and we're sitting there, like, thank God no one threw up today. Thank God no one threw up today." <laughs> All that and more. The Mike O'Mara Show starts now. Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. You can listen to The Mike O'Mara Show at MikeO'MaraShow.com. Let's get started. It's The Mike O'Mara Show with Mike O'Mara, Oscar Santana, and Rob Spiewak. Now, here's Mike. Burr. (laughs) Now, I'm sure you're cold. Yeah. Or you 38 degrees down here today. How many? 38. That's, That's nothing. Nothing. I'll take it. Well, when you're down here, it's something. Yeah, well, well for for you get what three days? We got we've had two weeks of like maybe sub twenties. Yeah, does it does it compromise the oranges? Uh, does it have to get below freezing? Today is a uh, inland. It gets colder, so they're having some uh, issues with uh, a frost warning down here, and the local media is going uh, bat s in uh, <laughs> West South Florida. We had forty, maybe forty four. Uh, today, uh, which is, uh, you know, it's just because you never have it, so it's a big deal. But they are going more nuts than they normally go because it's January and there's nothing to talk about, uh, you know, not until they uh, invade Ukraine. So it's uh, it's just, <laughs> <laughs> it's just they, people fingers, going. Fingers there. crossed. No, I like that. Like, Why, you know, the Russians. Uh, by the way, a tiny little comment about that. Well, of course he's going to invade Ukraine. Yeah. We're yeah. a divided nation. It's not because of Biden or because of the Republicans no. or anything. It's because we have two we're, we're distinct sides. We are weak, 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 weak. Yeah. You can't. If you attack and, or, and say, uh, you know, you, hey, you go into Ukraine, we're going to we're going to send troops in there. Then you're yelled at by the other side. Mike, if you don't do anything, you, you, you can't do anything in America It's not trade America craft. Anymore. It's common sense. We can't even we, pass a bill. How are we going to pass we're, we're, like, and yeah. get together for a war? Yeah. We're divided. Yeah. I, I would divided, love to Mike, z- cannot stand. There was a time where we, regarding uh, Russian aggression, you would have everybody mm. lockstep lining up. Right. Republican, Democrat, Independent, lockstep saying, yeah, go ahead, Effer. Just randomly invade a country next to you. And we, we, we will were, send everybody. We were mad when they sent a rocket to space. Yeah. yeah. It's ridiculous. So that's where we're, get used to that. That's just the way it's going to be until we get our act, act together, which I see absolutely no it's, evidence. It's, ever, what I want to know is happening. if we do send troops, do they have to wear masks? <laughs> uh, we're okay. <laughs> Gotta hit it when you make a joke when I'm trying to be serious. I'm sorry. Mike, <laughs> we're okay because there is no war in the metaverse. That's right. The metaverse is a okay. What is the metaverse exactly? It's a fake world. The video it's games. like it's a fake yeah. of, of it's like, like living, shooting. It's games. the new Facebook world, living right? your world uh, with your Oculus goggles on. Yeah, we should almost add it to the TikTok internet list. No, 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 uh, you don't no, think so? no, no, don't muck it up. Don't yet. give don't no. metaverse. Give much yeah, metaverse. No, no. Uh, welcome to the Michael Mary Dick show. Robinson saying it though. <laughs> You're very perky for Monday, Rob. Yeah. Very perky. We need perkiness because yeah, look at him. Hateful. He's yeah. he's bitter. I'm and angry. The yeah, he came in yelling about cities and whatnot. Yeah, you know like, what? He's angry. He's, he was waiting for me this morning. I love that. Ah, he was on time. I love that more than anything. Actually, I, uh, I wasn't because I was. Shooting. Yeah, you were waiting for I, me. I, I'm working while I'm waiting for you. There's no. I love yeah, but the you time. were sitting in your chair waiting. Yeah, for but me. Mike, you don't understand. I'm literally working while I wait for you. 
This is time for me. I love it. All right. Yeah. yeah. You still hated it. I Welcome to the Mike O'Mara Show. We are enjoying our second decade of the show that's become a daily routine for thousands of listeners in great places like uh, Lawns, Michigan. Well, uh, you know, that's an interesting uh, pronunciation for L apostrophe A N S E. I actually took a dive on it because that's what the listener is. Is it provided. French? It is French. And the listener provided a pronouncer. I said, well, that can't be right. And I did Lons. the research. Lawns. Yeah. Lones, Michigan, San Jose, California, Artfin, Turkey, uh, Bernalillo, New Mexico, uh, Pierre, South Dakota. That's a very, very big place up there. Yes. And Gory, Georgia. Now, Mike, that's Georgia on the Black Sea. That's not Georgia like in the United States. Oh, see, I thought it was like, yeah, well, Hat we got Atlanta. a lot of, we got a lot, we got a slaughterhouse here. Gory, Gory. We got lots of bugs on the windshield. I don't know. Monster movies. <laughs> um, lots to uh, lots to unpack. Please on the don't show use today. that phrase. That's Gross. a horrible phrase. I was Gross. watching uh, a lot of NFL analysis over the weekend. They like to say that. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, it, it, but the God, I hate it so. I love the NFL so, and I hate the analysis so. I hate the pregame shows so Why do you with watch every that? fiber of. Uh, well, sometimes you come in early and you kind of get caught. You know, I see, yeah. and then you have to watch them during halftime if you're if the channel's on. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not going to start a whole other thing. Not, but not if you're watching whole, with Carrie. The she... whole talking with the hands and that uh, that weird looking guy uh, is it Jay Glazer that has just the oh, yes. weirdest. He looks like seriously a figurine. He looks like an action figure from figure the planet from, from a from a Lego set. <laughs> he's just got he does he's got look like giant a Lego. feet. His, he's got a torso oh that's like three inches you long. Are he's a savage. What? what is going on? The man's I don't a, like, a legend I, within the broadcast world. He's a world. legend within the broadcast His world. He's got the, he's, he gets a skinny before everybody else does. He does. Yeah. He does because he knows how to go. <laughs> ah. But you're Mike. He's clearly made a great career out of it, Mike. He's on television every weekend. Calling him a Lego is and so dead on. Can't you just see his arms moving like this? <laughs> what is the body? I mean, I is know. it the suit or is it the body? And he works out. He's incredible. He like looks like almost yeah, a mini own, body builder. Gym. builder. He, he, the, he's looked the same though for twenty years. He's He must sleep in like a chamber. <laughs> I think he is, <laughs> but he's part chamber. of it. And then, they, and then, then the 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 whole thing with, I don't know. It just gets. They're not really funny. Oh, you not know? at all. They don't try to be funny. They they just they they make inside jokes with each other. I hate pregame shows. I've hated them for a million years. What you got? I think do, this, I got thinking about this. Uh, let me finish. I got thinking about this after John Madden died. Right. That that you know. The great, great guys that you remember for the rest of your life uh, in broadcasting, guys like Glenn Brenner, who I will yes. remember for the rest of my because he was so good at covering sports and being funny to a lesser extent. And I mean, I'm, I'm no, you know, no disrespect, but to a lesser extent and a much lesser extent, but still tried was George Michael. Who <laughs> just brought that kind of bravado thing uh, where he was kind of. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And yeah. then and then. So, yeah, I mean, but then those are local guys. And then on these pregame shows, uh, well, you go right to I'll give a guy like Bill Cower. All right. Bill Cower, great football coach. Jimmy Johnson, great football coach. Right. Boomer Esiason, great quarterback. Phil Simms, great quarterback. It's not a there's not a broadcast savvy fun bring something bring the you stack all those guys on all the NFL pregame shows up against Sir Charles mm -hmm. oh, yeah. and Shaquille O'Neal and why can't we in the NFL with all the money that's paid to these guys can't is there not like a third level lineman or something some guy that we could put on maybe some bookends of guys that would go at each other mm -hmm. have you ever done a deep dive on Charles Barkley and Shaquille O'Neal and watch the highlights on that TNT basketball show, which is fracturingly funny, where they will stop with the analysis and then they will do a deep dive on, oh, what was the city he was talking about? He's talking about a city uh, where there are uh, big people. It mm -hmm. might have been Kansas, and it, it, it's just, it's tear-inducing comedy, and instead you hear, la, 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 la. Yeah, we yeah, all that know Tom that, Brady's that, great. That, that doesn't come, look, that, that NBA uh, pregame show, 
and 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 frankly, it's unprecedented. And he, but it comes with it comes with some peril for the hosts. Uh, Sir Charles came out and said he's not going to do this after his, this contract's over because all he gets is it, people trying to cancel him every weekend. Yeah, yeah. And, and but there, but therein lies my point. It's got a pulse. It's got something yeah. that the other stuff is just hours and hours of just inane oversaturation with the same analysis all the time. And I know that there are guys out there. And you know this too, Oscar. There are guys out there that are super smart in the NFL that would be super funny and super. They, they, that's and why they just want you know, it safe, though. They want, I know. They want it safe. And they, that's I mean, broadcasting. Deion, Deion that's, Sanders it sucks. It's probably as compelling as you would get for broadcast television. And yeah. and, and Deion Sanders has to go to a place where, and if I'm, not, I'm almost 100%, but let's say 90% sure that he now has resigned with uh, Barstool Sports. Where yeah. they get away with a certain uh, level of humor, where he could never get away with it on a high level, because he would get reprimanded. Yeah, and I think it was we talked. I and think it was therein what, lies my yeah, point. Yeah. That is the land of suck, and that's why we get this crap that is repetitive, repetitive to an aneurysm level. We talked, it is so continuously repetitive. It's I believe horrible. it was James Brown who told us this that he said that even you know on all the shows he's worked on. Remember, he came from Fox. Now he's at CBS. Mm-hmm. That they are so tightly scripted, the ad libs are rehearsed and put yeah. in. I mean, I mean, yeah. it, there's yeah. nothing. I remember when JB said that. That there's nothing that can even be. They down to the second. Nothing can be snuck in. Nothing's By allowed. By the way, the, the 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 uh, Kurt Metafy and James Brown guys. Yeah, you don't. The, the, there's your core right there because those guys uh, can be the, who they are. Yes, the regular broadcast guys. But then bring in just a little bit of. Uh, you know, I look at Jimmy Johnson, who, you know, I think if you really let Jimmy run a little bit, it might be funny, but nobody will touch the, I, I, I spent my, uh, you know, weekend, part of my weekend looking at, uh, again, I've done it m- multiple times, uh, with, and it's really, it, as, as much as I like Shaq, it's really Charles Barkley of and course. Shaq reacting to yeah. him, yeah. you know, and cause Shaq has this great laugh where he goes, <laughs> you know, that type of thing. So it's what I pine for when I watch the NFL, but it does it doesn't matter because the NFL the is, is, is so hot yeah. right now, and it's hot because the competition. I don't care if you give a rat's ass about any of the teams. This weekend was just game after game after game, and then the only one I really cared about because of my dear friend Jimmy Cerrito was the last one of the weekend. Great time, by the way. Wish they'd start those games at uh, 6.30 more often. Yeah. Love that time. Perfect, Perfect time. slot. Uh, and the... Just the heartbreak, again, added to the portfolio of Buffalo heartbreak. How do you let Patrick Mahomes get pick up field goal yardage from the 25 in 13 seconds? That's all he needed. How is it possible? How like, do you do it? I said wow. this prior to the show starting, and you uh, you highlighted. You said, "Why don't you say that?" During, and I'm gonna people are gonna hate on me, and I love you, Jimmy, and, and I, you know, Maddie, and everybody else that's reading the, mayor, for the bills. Yeah. Maybe less, uh, but maybe it, as a fan base and as a team, try being a little less trashy and working harder on your prevent defense and less on jumping through tables. Would you care to uh, explain yourself when you say less trashy? Uh, well, uh, look, what, what was what clarify, was trashy about clarify, about that? Please. Well, this is you, you you teams that that have been there and act like they've been there cuz we're all watching 13 seconds and and I'm watching Twitter I'm like 13 seconds and and people that that haven't been there, the te- like all these rubes online are like, oh, it's over, it's over, it's yeah. over. And everyone that has some sort of fandom, they're like, no, 13s, anything can happen. Yeah. This um, is why people I'm guilty, freak not out. publicly, I'm guilty personally to Jimmy. Why? Why? I forgot what I want, what I wrote to him. Let me see. <laughs> oh, uh, no, you jinxed him. Oh, no. I don't like to look at it that way, Oscar. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, no. Let me see. Thursday, 6.06. Uh, let's see. Yes, go Bills. Uh, Mike sent me your new address. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, yesterday, 9.40 p.m. Oh, here we go. Uh, yeah! <laughs> oh, Exclamation boy. point. 50 of them. <laughs> with my address. And uh, followed by... <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> 
So Jimmy sends me three praying hands going into over overtime. Yeah, yes, yes. Right. And then uh, I write, I'm with you, brother. Very muted at this point. And then last message, sorry, pal. Mm. And no response from James, yeah, which yeah, is yeah. extremely rare. Yeah. Uh, just Not uh, even you know, it'll be okay. No, it's not going to be okay. Yeah. And then we, so what do we get? We get Kansas, Kansas City. Uh, I'll take it. Mike, I want they, they, At least they put on why a show. Why will you take it? At least they'll put on a show. Because they're winners, Mike. No, like no I hate, I, you know what? I hate the uh, whole time. I want, I want a Kansas. I just, I don't know. I, I get bitter that way. I, I wanted but to see But aren't you uh, of the opinion maybe that if you really were going to win the game, win the game during regulation? Well, of course. Yeah, right? I, I singled out that uh, particular defensive back who was toast like twice, and another guy that got a like uh, the the def- look defensive backs in the NFL. Uh, you know, it's it's a a thankless job. I think more than almost yeah, any you're, position. You're literally in the running NFL. backwards. You're running backwards. <laughs> you're, you're you're it's it's phenomenally difficult. They yes. always you can always bitch at them, uh, but. Just incredible. Like for, I mean, the, for defense, fun. the defense that was already, maybe they were already celebrating. It was very sad, but it was a great game. Won at the last second in overtime by, uh, you know, uh, by Kansas City, who marched down the field after they tied it and won the toss, won everything, yeah. won, 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 won. For fun, you know. uh, I didn't pull the audio from uh, Nance saying that it's awful a shame that they never got to touch the ball. Uh, this is uh, the final of the game from Chiefs Radio. I thought you'd like to hear the call from that because uh, they're oh. very oh, enthusiastic. Yeah. Right. Very enthusiastic. Okay, here we go. Mahomes looks to throw it, pump faking, right side he wants, and a comeback cut, it is caught by Kelsey, touchdown, superstar Kansas to superstar. City, one of the greatest duos in the history of the National Football okay. League, right. Patrick right. Mahomes okay. to Travis Kelsey, <laughs> right. and the Chiefs have won okay. this okay. incredible whoa, divisional whoa, 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 playoff game whoa, whoa. in overtime. I hate those guys too. Uh, Very superstar excited. to superstar. Yeah, you're exactly right. Draft well, NFL. If you want, you want, you want to have a winning team. Draft well. This is uh, we are entering, and and make no mistake about this. The torch has been passed. Uh, the Brady's and the Rodgers are now turning it over to a an absolutely spectacular cast of young athletes we are going to have the golden age and i didn't think it could get better you're going to have a real golden age of the nfl these guys are so talented uh these quarterbacks are so fit it's fun it's fun to watch Mm -hmm. i'm not i i don't buy into all the hype but you can't ignore the game all the crap around it uh ownership pregame shows all that blech but I will tell you, when the product on the field is that good, how can you be a sports fan and not well, my, like, just get off on when, that? When it's got, incredible. So I watched it with my foreign father, and we're both foreigners, so I should probably say that. Um, and he, Did you have to explain it wasn't soccer? No, he's into this. Okay. And he's not asking like how can ru- you not be into it? rude questions. And he's like, what a great finish. Let's uh, If we could just, I don't want to jump to another game, but I'm watching Tampa Bay. And we, oh, I crapped on that. And we, I crapped on that. <laughs> I, I left. I left. Well, I left. My jaw frustrated. hit the floor. I know. I wasn't <laughs> frustrated as much as I was. I wanted to see a competitive game. Yeah. Be with. Woe is me. Never bail. You gotta never bail. You the never Super know Bowl. it's gonna. Yeah. Like, yeah. He, they yep. can come back from this. Just yeah. astonishing. And, really, really. And we're sitting there, and my dad's like, "How old is?" And for every man that's in their forties or eighties, you're rooting for the older quarterback. It's just it's it's innate in you to say, "I want this this guy who's forty four to beat the young buck." Roughly, uh, uh, respectfully, you you just want him to continue moving. So, and that's coupled age, with the cup, a comeback is the greatest thing. This in the world. ageless yeah. aspect of mm. never bet on Tom Brady. I think and, he's coming back. And, by the way, and everybody thinks he's coming back because of that loss, because of the way they lost that game. And in a weird way, we tried to call my nephew who, because now he's in L.A. He's an uh, he's an L.A. Rams fan. Mm-hmm. Uh, shocker. Um, we and he didn't answer, and was and my dad and I, uh, we just get so. I'm pissed when our family doesn't answer the phones because they're so scary busy. Mm-hmm. We started rooting against against the Rams. So now we're rooting for Tom, not just for age sake. We're we're rooting for him because our nephew didn't answer. So we want to call our nephew when the when the game's over to troll him. When 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 Tom comes so back, if he had answered the phone, we would have been like, oh, well, okay. so yeah. is Luca is Luca uh, all Rams all the time now? Yes, yeah. He's he's got the jersey. He got it for Christmas. Dodgers, Rams. He, yeah, he's, he's got the whole LA thing he's, going. He's, mm. And he can claim that he had it before because they lived there before. 
for who cares? Yeah. I, I know said, no, but I, yeah. I believe in where you live. Yeah. yeah. You know, that's when you take ownership of a team. That's cool. Good for him. So, and uh, you know, good for the Rams. We're um we're watching the game and my dad's like, There's no way they're coming. I was like, No, I don't I think it's over to and, and I felt like you felt. I was like, It's there's no way he can't even convert a pass. I, I got bored. I got yeah. bored. I, I hate seeing I that's what once your team is out of yeah. it. All people that are sports fans in the NFL uh, care about is having a great game. But if That's you, if you want, about. if you think about it, the last the, those two games and really the weekend, just a few seconds left on the clock. Everybody, they were Every like, I can't, I can't believe they're going to go to overtime. Can't believe it. No, right. boom, mm-hmm. done. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It was fun. It was fun, fun, fun. And you know what? That is, for me, a rare thing because I am a team guy. Uh, whether it's a- any sport, that's when I get into it. I get into it with when, when my team Just is so involved. Fun. Yeah. And uh, this is the first time I can remember. And that's what tells me that, wow. This is going to be uh, just incredible. And, uh, you know, it's nice to see a struggling organization like the National Football League do well. Yeah, they finally, you know, it. won in the win column for them this weekend, Mike, really, which is nice. Because they really need and, it. Um, they do. I guess on the outside looking in Rodgers, I was happy he lost after he yeah. lied about the vaccine. Well, it's, you look, I don't think it's. <laughs> That's the way I look I, at it. I do too. Karma. I felt the That's same right. way too. I was all in. On Aaron Rodgers getting thumped this weekend. I was yeah. happy. I was happy. Uh, it was good to see. And also that look that he cultivated when he started dating the starlet in Hollywood. Yes. Yeah. When he cultivated that I just got out of prison look that, uh, you know, that he likes so bad. And uh, uh, there's something, uh, you know, I read a lot about that little incident with uh, Aaron Rodgers. And he is arrogant. The, and, the uh, uh, Daily Double, know. Mike, is what is America rooting against you? <laughs> what is America? Aaron Rodgers. So, uh, so there it is. No, and uh, we'll see if it goes on now. Because you guys are bigger sports guys than me, and I enjoyed all the games this weekend. It was a lot of fun because they were exciting. Will we get two more good games next week? And will the Super Bowl be in? No. Good? That's my no. gut. My gut is that. Yeah. We, no, I'm sorry. The AFC Championship yeah, I, game. I, if I, and, let, oh, and now, by the way, if I'm wrong. You, if I am wrong, you're wrong. You'll be happy. If I'm wrong, and Cincinnati, and Cincinnati, uh, you know, can muster the same kind of performances they've had, nothing will make me happy. Cincinnati's happier. hot. How could you Cincinnati not say that? Cincinnati is hot. Yeah, but I will the, just, Oscar, I'm just giving you the my. The Chiefs opinion. will give you some, they'll give you a dog ass game any week. Like the fact know, that they won yesterday but is they mind might blowing. be this might be a uh you know but a little much. I think they're great. And the 49ers is going to be a great game. I think it has the potential to be a great game, but I just don't think. If I'm wrong about Cincinnati, you know, and uh, are we going to have Nikki this week? Will we get yeah. Nikki this week? Oh yeah, week? yeah, he'll have an I'd like to hear what Nikki has to say about it because right. not only does Nikki make us laugh, but uh Nikki is very very insightful. I think Nikki uh, had as a well. bad weekend. I, I feel bad. Like, yeah. Picks. Are, you did it. Yeah. Terrible, terrible weekend. Yeah. I feel great for the people in Cincinnati that haven't had a moment like this. I really, really do. I don't like the fans in Kansas City because after all this PC stuff that we've gone through, when you have teams that have to change their names, mm-hmm. and I have to listen to you know the the fifty thousand white faithful going da da da, which is really saying f you, Middle America, to the Native American. <laughs> American tribes in the United States. Uh, so I got pissed off at that. I think it's wrong. I think it sucks. And a lot of people go, oh, lighten up, Snowflake. <laughs> uh, but that's the way I feel. So we'll see. Well, the NFL uh, that's said they can, keep their, uh, they can keep that that name because they won the coin toss. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. It was, uh, yeah, that it just, uh, I really think with all, with all the crap you hear, about sensitivity mm-hmm. and being aware of certain things. How is that okay? Right? Am yeah. I wrong about that, I guys? When I no. hear that, no. when uh, I hear that, that that that's the that's just an audio version of the tomahawk chop, is yeah. it not? And Are I they think changing it sucks. the Braves name for Atlanta? I don't no, know. Right? Wait, so, I mean, where are the rules? Florida State. I the, thought, the, I thought, the, I thought the Seminoles. Te- I think some of these teams were sanctioned by the governing bodies of the certain tribes. That's why they can get away with it. Well, I think in the Seminoles' case, that might be right. Yeah, I yeah. think. I yeah. don't know. I thought the but Braves I mean, don't had you put think it in motion to change. I thought they had. They changed the name already? I thought they put it in motion. Yeah, like but they... there's still the tomahawk chop there. Sure. Well, you can't there's get There's still the that. tomahawk chop, and with the Chiefs, there's that... Nah, 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 nah. Mm. I don't know. I mean, uh, the, the Chiefs? 
It didn't strike me as much for some reason because I'm still waiting for the Washington football team to you know address their name change. So February second. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, we have that post Super Bowl. Is that coming when along? Make that, yep. uh... Coming along. <laughs> February second. Do you guys? You're up there. Do you have the Commanders? A, uh... Apparently, it's the Commanders. They leaked it. The Washington Commanders. Yes. Hey. I don't mind that. It's not bad. All right. I don't mind that one at all. Go What's that? It wasn't going to be Hogs. Yeah. No, God, it no. wasn't ever going to be Hogs. I think they ought to have a uh, one of those horrible names like we've had. So we had Nationals, then we the had The Commanders Wizards. are great. I think Commanders kind of maybe rolls admirals. off the tongue. If it's not going to be better the, than Admirals. I, I personally wish they would stick to Washington football team because it's generic and just like them, not very good. <laughs> but you could <laughs> root for the Commanders. Good. You read uh, Commanders. Yes. Touchdown, Commanders. Yes. I like Commanders. I'm down with Commanders. Washington Commanders. I said it here. <laughs> Are you sure? Is that what you're hearing is the front row? Oh, runner? it's, it's very, as, yeah. it's, it's very obvious at this point. Now, oh, really? If, if there, well, this is the BS that happens. Apparently, there were already rumors. I heard Admirals. We all heard Admirals. Yeah. But they had a broadcast. You know how they have these local, uh, local, local, I guess, team shows that are. It's usually sponsored by the HVAC system, yeah, like Metcalf or something brought right. to you. That, so they have a, a That'd be the one where Sonny used to be with yeah, George and all those Yeah, they have like a coach's show, things, right? whatever. Yeah, originally it was called side, Redskins Sidelines. That yeah. was the show. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Apparently, and, and I could be wrong, but this is what I remember reading, Is it, and I was so disgusted by this, I was like, this is not shocking, that the GM or one of the executives were on television and in back of them was... The the mock the mock up jersey in the far back like in that what they didn't know was in the frame. Oh no! That's so somebody was able to see the name. Classic, I don't buy that. On, classic DC on on a piece of paper or <laughs> yeah, something cares? random. Where I was like, this is this is just typical. This is typical. well, you wait that long and it, you know on their own something broadcast. is bound to happen. Yeah, you know. I just I, uh, look, I chalk it up to COVID, where you have skeleton teams doing broadcast now, where you're like, okay, you're ready to go, sir. And you trust that one person. You don't have like five people in back of you looking at that frame. And <laughs> You're then not that's showing you the merch, it. are you? Oh, yes, no, well. no, no. We're not All I know is they didn't accept my uh, suggestion for a finalist, so mine didn't even make it past well, You had a suggestion? The filibusters. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of football, uh, Friday night in the O'Mara household is flag football night. Right. And uh, it has become our uh, little routine with my little man. And I would like to say uh, the first play from scrimmage, touchdown, Michael William O'Mara. Uh, the last play, grabbing a flag in the backfield of the other team after the handoff. He got the first play of the game and the last play. He scored two touchdowns and made some amazing uh, defensive plays. We're walking off the field and Jeremy, uh, his coach, who's I've talked about before, yeah. he's kind of a big uh, stocky guy and he's great with the kids. It's like, listen up, listen up. You know, when they're eight-year-olds, this is how, this is how you have to coach when you have eight-year-olds. All right, you go, listen up, listen up. Listen up. Guys, guys, guys. That's yeah. literally how you have to do it to get them to get <laughs> to pay attention. <laughs> to get them all to focus. Mm-hmm. Hey, me, look at my face. Look, look. This is where my face is right here. These are my eyes. Do you think Andy <laughs> Reid does That's that? Like, uh, you know, <laughs> you never know. Uh, guys, and he says, hey, guys. MVP, defense and offense right here as we're casual Walk, walking off right. the field. It was wonderful. I loved it. It was fun to watch. So. There is, this is the second time we've played this team. I've been at both games. Now, my kids' team uh, are the Buccaneers, and the other team we played uh, twice, uh, the second time being Friday night, the Dolphins. Apparently, uh, Jeremy uh, pulled this move, which was hysterical, uh, in one of the games where I think there were 15 seconds left, and uh, the... Jeremy had the, them hike the ball to the to the quarterback, and he took a knee. And it was just like, hey, it's like a real game, and it was funny. Well, apparently that didn't sit right with this older coach uh, for the Dolphins. That's it. I didn't know more about that. Right. I don't know any more details like this. So uh, Jeremy tells me, we, we, we'll, we'll chat like during the game, and I'm like a backup coach if somebody doesn't make it. Sure. I, I've been out there one time with the kids. Uh he said this coach gave him crap about it. I said, oh, yeah, was, was he busted? He said, no, he was serious. He didn't like that. And he said, uh, you know, the, the long and short of this story is that 
the coach now got mad at our coach because he runs basically one play with six different options. He runs a standard uh, play with a handoff, or they pitch it to a guy, mm-hmm. or they go back and they throw it to another guy, and it's the same play. And this coach is giving him crap about that. So the game is over, and this guy looks like me. Yeah, but okay, you this all is won, a, right? This yeah. is, we, we, won, we won the oh, game. I hate and, that BS. He's just bitter. Yeah, he's and, bitter. And the coach looks like he's a little fatter than I am Mm -hmm. and he is a grandfather of one of the kids and the rumor is somehow he is connected to the high school team maybe a high school coach okay so the game is over and I said good game coach and he said I can't believe that happened I said what well he said he didn't shake my hand we line the eight-year-olds and and seven-year-olds and six-year-olds in some cases up to shake hands the coach didn't shake hands with uh with our coach and I, you know, the old me that I so wanted. And then the comment was made to Jeremy, you don't know who I am. Oh, boy. And I'm like, are you, are, are you really seriously, a little, a little, are you serious? Eight-year-old flag football? It's not even tackle. And you're not, and I'm, you're getting I'm that. green. You're, you're that, <laughs> really, you're that wound up. And yeah. I said, no, Carla brought a little, uh, you know, sippy sippy to the game. I had, we have our canvas little uh, red wagon that we drag over there yeah. with the lawn chairs in it. We got all the stuff. All the parents have these wonderful uh, Kansas uh, canvas uh, bag uh, wagons. And uh, for Christmas, uh, my mother-in-law gave us one of them and mm-hmm. we took it out to the games. And it's just so chill and right. so much fun. And uh, I I just cannot believe that and not even a father a grandpa, grandfather yeah the children of the greatest generation again the my age people just behaving like a toddler toddler you know i said well he mustn't have ever had any military service i always say that ah! i guess he never fought for his country because he's uh you know he's considering this something special this is a joy fest yeah you know and uh and, and it it's takes fun. a very special kind of yep, person to ruin that but grinds right. their yeah. gears if, you, if your coach is running the skinny playbook for eight-year-olds god bless him uh less to, less to worry That's about exactly what he's doing and the, so, so I look, Mike. This is the, the same BS. We, 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 I like it when you use really good football <laughs> jargon. That's so good, so appropriate for the moment. That's well, great. we were playing flag football out of college. We would play flag football on the on the mall, right next to the Washington Monument. For those uh, you you know out of the area, and we would play all of these alumni associations from like Penn State, and and our team from WVU was the Bad News Bears. We roll in hungover, ready to lose, but needed some sort of workout because they were Saturday right. mornings. Right. So yep. everybody was hungover except for respectful teams that actually wanted to win. And we would beat on a regular basis the teams that had like some sort of quarterback and playbook <laughs> with the wrist. Band oh, on. No. Oh no! And they would get, In flag football, yes, he had a wrist, wrist they would band with get the plays. So oh my god! at us because it was a skinny playbook. Yeah. It would be like you, like a post, uh, a slant. Like it would. That's all we had. That's and, what they had. And we and Jeremy's beat, absolutely right. We would about beat that. them. They'd be like, I don't know how this happened. We had prepared. We went to practice, and we're sitting there, be like, thank God, no one threw up today. Thank God, no one threw up today. <laughs> so it's the it's the, the when you. When you lose, you have to understand that maybe sometimes it's not going to work all the time. I'm sure they won the championship that year in our league. But when you lose, it's part of growing up. Yeah. That's all it is. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it sucks, but that, that's it. And I think we are, you know, in this day and age, uh, it just seems to me, uh, I have, I have had visceral emotional reactions to uh, losses, uh, sports losses in my world. Yeah. It sucks. But you are over it. If you're not over it by like the next day, yeah, or or at, at the moment, if you're not knowing from coaches previous for your sixty plus years on this planet that you have to show a little sportsmanship, and you're Especially not doing well in front, you know what, yeah. jerk. Yeah. So I didn't. I haven't done the dive, and I did. I so wanted to go over uh, to this other coach and said, "So, uh, you, you know, are you associated with the high school?" I've heard you're associated with the high school just to get a name, but I figured, you know, that's that's me love being that as bad as the other and coach I love to that do question. that. I uh, yeah. I hear you're associated with the high school. <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, I guess kind of frustrated when you uh, play at that high level to uh, you know lose again to 
the only undefeated <laughs> team <laughs> in flag football with the two, uh, uh, you know, little little youngsters, including one of them, my son, who fly like the wind, which my son does. Uh, it's uh, so anyway. I, I just uh, it it doesn't make any sense. You know, is there disappointment if it's on the other foot if they lose? Sure, they're not used to losing. Right. This is they've got uh, some extra games coming up, and they're gonna play if they they're it's gonna they're gonna take it hard, and they're gonna and they're gonna show sportsmanship. And I'm talking about tough love if my mm. son you know uh turns on the waterworks or anything like that i'm like hey it's part of the game you got to do that but i don't think they're gonna lose anyway uh we i hope that other break. coach doesn't bring any <laughs> from the high school team to play i want to find out who he is if he's really connected I, because says, I don't think you, know, you don't know who terrible. i am you it don't does, know who it, i am pique right. your interest yeah yeah because i'd like to go uh, i don't know who you are but i'm somewhat of a famous radio personality <laughs> Uh, no, I didn't do that. Even though if we'd been there for like one more half hour, yeah, uh, I, I would have. Uh, sure, I would have because uh, you know yeah. that was uh, that's called Cabernet cover- courage. <laughs> Cabernet Courage. <laughs> Speaking of Cabernet Courage, uh, there was a little uh, later in the show, I'll talk to you. I joined one of the Zoom calls this weekend. Oh. Uh, we'll be right back, everybody. Yeah. Happy birthday. It's cold outside, Karen. So I wanted to remind you to visit the TMOS Shopping Center, Target, and Walmart. They'll never be frosty when they greet you. And they have everything you need this winter. Corn cob pipes, red and yellow scarves, enchanted top hats, they even have space heaters. But don't buy that, Karen, or I'll have to kill you. I'm serious. Just access Target and Walmart through the Mike O'Mara Show website, and you'll be back again someday if Frosty doesn't murder you. Ha, 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 ha. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show. If you've listened to the show for a while, you know that Rob is absolutely obsessed with Best Fiends. Uh, he can't put it down. Uh, well, it's better. It's bigger than Wordle for him. Oh, it is. And he's really into Wordle. Now. Well, the thing is, uh, well, no, no. The thing about Wordle is a throwaway. It's once a day. Best Fiends is always there. Best Fiends is always changing. You can't right. finish Best Fiends. It's awesome. Uh, now that we're deep into January and things are a bit dreary, uh, there's no better time to lose yourself in the fiend averse. Uh, Best Fiends is a mobile puzzle game that anyone can download and play, whether you have a few minutes or a few hours. Best Fiends features tons of cute characters that uh, help you solve thousands of fan puzzles. The more you play, the more characters you collect, and the more you win. The more you challenges uh, you face. Uh, you know, hold on. Let me see if I said that right. Let me see. The more characters you collect and the more you win, the more challenges you face. It gets better and better. That's what I meant to say. So get in there and beat them slugs. Uh, You're at level what right now, Rob? 5,088. It's called Explosive Barrage, 90 Potted Plants. I'm going to be honest with you. This this level's kicking my ass. It's a hard level, but I'm going to get past uh, it. I'm going to get past it. So it's that you're at the Kansas City Chiefs level now. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, I'm playing at the Mahomes level. You literally can uh, play as long as you want and never get bored. Trust Rob. He knows. Get on the Best Fiends bandwagon. And now, uh, download Best Fiends free today on the App Store or Google Play. That's friends without the R. That, ladies and gentlemen, is Best Fiends. From the four corners of the World Wide Web and into your digital device, it's what you need to know. This is the homepage. This is the homepage. Happy Monday, everybody. Uh, Meatloaf's daughter has uh, vowed to have her father's back forever. I thought this was kind of sweet. Uh, Pearl Aday penned uh, two sweet tributes to the late singer via Instagram over the weekend following her dad's sudden death at age of uh, 74 uh, earlier this week. Here's what she said. Quote, I love you always, no matter what. I love you with my whole heart. We got you forever. Uh, Pearl f- is 47 years old. Uh, she wrote this along alongside a photo of her and her dad on stage together. She referenced her father's bat out of hell lyrics in a second post, adding, we love you, dad. Uh, Meatloaf, born Marvin Lee Ade, uh, adopted Pearl when he was married to Leslie Edmonds. The couple uh, were together from 1979 till uh, 2001, and I always think it's kind of sweet when the kids say something nice about dad. Do you so have, a, do you have the story about Weber Grills? No. I got um, an email on uh, early on Friday. I'm on their mailing list, and it said, uh, have meatloaf your way. 
And their recipe uh, of the week on Friday was a meatloaf recipe. And uh, they sent an apology email that afternoon saying... The email went out before we heard about Mr. Day's passing, but it was just unfortunate. Timing. Did it appear to be that they were uh, that they were capitalizing Mocking. on the the news? It was. Or? It was. I mean, it was just oddly. Could people co- have misunderstood that? Is that why that? Yeah, happened? it was oddly coincidental when the subject line is "Have meatloaf your way." <laughs> yeah, I, I. That's kind of. <laughs> Weird, <laughs> yeah. but I get it. Well, I guess they, they handle it the right they way. They uh, apologize. Uh, yeah. Up in your neck of the woods, and I got 30,000 people sending me this. Uh, Mike just exaggerated. What? Uh, a snake expert from North Carolina removed 124 snakes in total from the Charles County home where David Riston was found deceased. That was last Wednesday night. Right. Everybody was talking about this with the uh, snakes. I have to m- mention, I think... For some people out there that made a couple of comments, my uh, snake is not venomous, nor would I ever bring a venomous snake into the house. So uh, be aware of that. However, I think that if he gets to be full grown, Jake, yes, uh, and like as big as he possibly could be, and I was asleep, he'd probably kill me. Uh, but no, I don't know. He wouldn't know. kill you. To... He likes you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he might kill somebody else. Yeah, exactly. Uh, he, uh, this guy was found <laughs> deceased. Uh, the... <laughs> This guy's inventory included a highly venomous uh, black mamba. It's the most venomous snake yeah. in the world. Cobras and rattlesnakes. Uh, county spokesperson Jennifer Harris uh, said they needed outside assistance to handle this. There were so many snakes in the uh, in the home. She said, we don't have that type of expertise at our own animal shelter. So we contacted people who knew how to help us remove these uh, animals. Uh, how the guy died is officially still under investigation, but multiple sources uh, told Channel 7 that uh, there was evidence of a snake bite. So mm. that's probably what killed wow. the guy. That's, uh, you know, he had a state issued permit to own some of his snakes, but not the venomous ones. So, you yeah. know, when you do that, there's well, kind of a black market. At least about he was that, passionate about his craft. Yeah, but aren't snakes craft. like aren't, aren't snakes a little bit like cats? Once you get past two, you might as well have like sixty, and you're yeah, crazy. I, yeah, I think so. And yeah. oh, the smell. Oh, anyway. idiot. Uh, hey, uh, by the way, I have to do uh, I have to do a cleanup in the cage today. First time I've seen the real evidence of the the scat. Yeah, not I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. I I you know all this love love lovey dovey talk about the snake. That's something I'm really dreading. You know, I, I really without <laughs> being too graphic, is it? Rabbit like? Is it um, mouse like? I'll what take a it? picture of it. And I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> I, I don't think we need all that. Well, no, I'll t- t- take a picture. Because I got to take him out. I'm going to give him. I'm going to give him a Gatorade bath today. So uh, you put him in a little uh, tub with uh, with Gatorade, half Gatorade and half water, and he gets electrolytes. That's what plants crave. <laughs> Swear to God. Like out the toilet? It's the lady at the, you know, at the yeah. snake mart told yeah. me to do that. So, uh, A doctor on TikTok claims that it's possible under certain circumstances to fart yourself blind. Oh, my God. Let's just leave it there, but uh, that's it. Uh, plastic surgeon Dr. Anthony Yown responded to a follower who said they had once farted so hard that they went blind for three minutes. Uh, the doctor says, although this is very unlikely, if the gas you pass is extremely pungent, it could contain large amounts of hydrogen sulfide. Did the person that do this ever work at WJFK FM? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you got macular de- degeneration. of. Uh, yeah, anyway. It was a uh, st- bad place st- to be at times. <laughs> studies show that hydrogen sulfide is very effective in reducing blood pressure. And if it reduces blood pressure to the central retinal artery, your silent but deadly uh, toot could theoretically uh, make you go blind. Mm. So there it is. Yeah. I about I'd that. share that with I don't you. like when that? people isn't would, that something I don't like when people fart and then look at you and smile <laughs> <laughs> well it reminds me of the joke uh probably politically incorrect as every joke is sure uh, you yeah. know uh why do farts smell why so deaf people can enjoy them too <laughs> Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. You're canceled. Uh, that, by the way, that was exactly the reaction I wanted. Uh, 
This is funny. I saw this. Vi- this went viral. A woman catches her husband red-handed as he watched uh, saucy videos of other women on the internet. The wife recorded her hubby scrolling on the sofa from a first-floor balcony. So I guess they've got one of those houses that's two stories, and the the hallway is really more like a balcony going oh, yeah, to the yeah, other yeah. rooms. Uh-huh. You know that kind of yeah, house. Yeah. Uh, so she appeared to take it all in good humor as she posted on the video, accompanied by a laughing. Uh, emoji shows him on the couch and she zooms in with her camera and he's looking at this woman with big butt doing this like super sexy dang uh you can see her zoom in on the back of the man's head and then viewers catch a glimpse of what he's looking at his phone the picture's only small but you can clearly make out the figure of a woman dancing provocatively <laughs> uh here and here's where people really suck. Okay, and and just, here's where nowadays in our world where you didn't have access to everybody's opinion being public. Right, this is where the the people piss me off. Some viewers were appalled by the footage. I looked at the video. It's a lady fully clothed dancing provocatively. Sure. All right. Uh, one lady said, "I'd rather be single than pretend to laugh at this happening." You know, how mean sure she's is fun. that? How, how mean to the lady who posted this that brought everybody a little joy, a little laughter. I just... Oh the God, beauty of it is that hit. lady probably is single and will be for a long time. Yeah, but like, put it on the other side. Uh, let me ask you this. You guys, and be honest. All right. If you walked in and your wife was looking at, you know, whatever, guys dancing or right. guys looking hot, what would you do? I wouldn't care. I would bust her balls in a very funny way, yeah, but yeah, I wouldn't exactly. be jealous about it. No, like, this is no. I mean, why not? Another lady says, Oscar, my comment won't go over well. LOL. Bad use of LOL. I hate that, too. I do, too. But I think it's 100% disrespectful. Yeah. What is him looking at a at a, at a woman online? He doesn't have his pants know? around his ankles, and he's like a uh, full like full time lifetime subscriber to the Bang Bus. That may be extreme. <laughs> That's true. That's very. But he's true. on the internet. <laughs> it's somewhere in the middle. <laughs> oh god! And you know what? If you think Mike, you mentioned LOL. Think, imagine any time you see LOL on a post or when someone texts you, if they are actually laughing out loud. So if that They're lady, not. what she's saying is, my opinion is not going to go over well. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, <laughs> you're, exactly. You're not doing it right. A third lady said, I won't even complain to him about it. I wouldn't even complain to him about it. I just slowly start losing my feelings for him and care less every time. What is wow. it? Just chill out, everybody. Really, chill out. I mean, people, the, the judgment. Uh, but some TikTokers uh, didn't think the husband's viewing habits were an issue at all. One said, am I the only one not bothered by this? I look at thirst traps on TikTok all day long. Doesn't mean I'll cheat. Another said, I wouldn't care about my husband looking at girls he could never pull. Hell, <laughs> he barely pulled me. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. See, that's, that's the way how you handle that. that. Give right, me yeah. a break or yes, something. Yeah. Come on. China has brought back its undignified anal COVID swabs. My God. Just two weeks before the Beijing Winter Olympics, or Beijing, uh, the communist regime claims the virus test, which involves inserting a five-centimeter-long saline-soaked swab up a patient's bum and rotating it, is more accurate than other on-the-spot virus tests. Chinese newspaper The Beijing News said at least 27 people underwent the, underwent the anal swab tests at an apartment building in Beijing, where a 26-year-old woman caught uh, the Omicron variant. Uh, the invasive anal tests involve inserting a sterile cotton swab into the rectum and rotating it several times. The swab is removed and analyzed uh, in a lab. Japan is calling on China to stop using the undignified test. As some passengers said, it caused them psychological uh, distress. So uh, usually it's just the nasal swab. You know the difference between the anal swab and the nasal swab? What? The smell. Oh, oh my. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's, that's, it's a variation on the uh, oral and rectal yeah. thermometer. That one's the taste. I, I did it differently when I had my anal swab done. I said, just hold the swab still. I'll spin. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know such a thing existed. And now uh, a little Thank something. God it does. something. <laughs> right. Uh, authorities. Oh, did you Don't do the pool thing? Test that guy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, no. <laughs> 
Uh, authorities uh, arrested a woman accused of driving the wrong way on uh, Interstate 75, just a mile or two down from where right I am up right the here. Way, yeah. uh, but this was up the road a piece in Tampa. This happened early Thursday morning. The woman allegedly, uh, when was when she was pulled over, uh, she was concerned about something. So, well, she did what a lot of people do. She set her car on fire. Oh, no. <laughs> The incident happened overnight, uh, Thursday night, near Fowler Avenue. I've been up there. And closed a portion of the road for a few hours Thursday. Hillsborough County, uh, the sheriff's office up there, uh, said the woman was taken into custody and the fire was extinguished. The spokesman for the police department called the incident a mental health crisis. Mm. Florida residents, like me, referred to it as the beginning of a long weekend. <laughs> there we are. That's the way that normally goes. You in, was on uh, fire. <laughs> yeah, Hillsborough County. A lot of stuff goes on. We got a buddy, uh, Carla's best bud. Uh, she's a sheriff up there. Mm -hmm. She well, can tell right. you stories. Yeah. Curl your hair. We'll take a break, and uh, we'll come back with something. I know we will, <laughs> because it's Monday, and it's the Mike O'Mara Show. We'll be right back. All right, Pop, hey. Hello, friends. Dad. It's me, Jake the Snake. America's most <laughs> beloved ball python, the greatest snake in history. Just a reminder, dear boy, don't forget to purchase the TMOS bonus show, an uncensored commercial free extra TMOS episode every week. Costs only pennies and supports Mike and Rob and Oscar. It's the best. Buy it now at MikeOMerishow.com. And for those of you who say I sound like the Leesburg Vulture, listen. This is the voice Mike uses for all his creepy animals. So piss off and thank you. All right, that was too long. Anyway, thank you, Jake. Uh, whether it's finding a signature color, wearing a more flattering cut, or getting a new statement piece, the right detail can take your wardrobe up a notch. This year, let Indochino yes. take care of your 2022 style edit. You can customize everything from suits and shirts to chinos and bomber jackets at prices more affordable than you might expect. Indochino offers completely custom-fitted suits, shirts, casual wear, and more at surprisingly affordable prices. Every piece is made to your exact measurements, and you can customize every detail. The best part? Indochino suits start from just $429 and shirts from $79 with all the customizations included. Oscar has used Indochino for years. Love yeah. uh, you've loved them for a while, yep. and uh, you will too. You'll feel like a king. Give yourself a style edit that sets the tone for the rest of the year with Indochino. Get $50 off any purchase of $399 or more by using promo code TMOS at Indochino.com. That's $50 off, people, with a purchase of $399 or more at I-N-D-O-C-H-I-N-O.com. Promo code TMOS. OS and we thank you. Uh, welcome back to the Mike O'Mara show. Uh, yeah, Oscar brought this up in the pre-show, and I think we should talk about him. Um, the funniest uh, debut, I believe, ever in the history of uh, debuts on the Johnny Carson show was a guy named Louis Anderson. We were so blessed last year to get uh, an interview with uh, Louis, uh, you know, who had that uh, wonderful uh, second act with the uh, television show Baskets with mm -hmm. Zach Galifianakis. And uh, he was so funny when he came on with us, too, because he's so a sweetheart. generous and nice, nice sweet man, guy, sweet, nice know. man. Yeah, that's what everyone and, says. You know, unfortunately, uh, in the world of celebrities passing, when you have a, a megastar like Meatloaf pass away and then uh, you die after that, sometimes you don't get top billing. And that's mm -hmm. kind of a drag for people in show business. But Louis Anderson was uh, was something special. And as far as a video that I watch, uh and I think both you guys have seen it. The one oh, where he comes it. out yeah, and yeah, does yeah, yeah, just yeah, does yeah. the the whole bit is a fat joke. And um, I have the highlights if you want to hear them from his Tonight Show debut. Yeah, and and I, we can talk about this uh, afterwards. Is that something in the land? Being a fat guy, uh, could you come out and do that? fat shtick now i don't think you could i don't right? think you could no. i don't think you could. it was simple jokes i think some of his jokes from that became like iconic i know the pushing back into the water yeah was oh, yeah, yeah, was yeah. was mm -hmm. fantastic but play the the great thing comedians back in the day when there were just a few networks you could make a career 
by one appearance on The Tonight Show. One night change your life, yeah. And Louie, you can hear the audience in the background. It's simple shtick. Yeah. It's not deep stuff, but it's so beautifully delivered by the right guy. It kills me to watch it. So you've got some of the highlights? Yeah, this uh, he did like a six-minute chunk. I got it down to about 90 seconds. Great. Okay. So here we go. And I think it starts actually with Carson introducing him. He's making his first appearance on national television. Would you welcome, please, Louis Anderson. Thank you. Thank you. I can't stay long. I'm in between meals, so bear with me. <laughs> right away. I was just at McDonald's, and all those statistics just changed. So. <laughs> Being in California, being fat, and uh, try to get into this California life. Went to the beach the other day. Every time I'd lay down, people would push me back into the water. <laughs> Hurry up, he's dying. <laughs> and the uh, bums down at the beach, always coming up to you, those guys. Hey, buddy, could you help me out with a sandwich? Well, sure, where is it? <laughs> Of course, what brought me to California was the Olympics. I was uh, tried every event for the Olympics. Uh, tried that pole vault. I drove that sucker right into the ground. <laughs> I did a good thing, though. I straightened out those uneven parallel bars. <laughs> Broad jump, killed her. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm sweating, but if I don't, I'll explode. <laughs> I am from Minnesota. Any Minnesotan? Oh, Great Did I get a ride too. home with you? <laughs> well, where would we put them? <laughs> Louis, come on here and take another bow. Oh, so sweet. So, so wonderful. And, uh, now, you know, did you and, ever, and just. Did you the, ever watch Baskets? Did you ever I watch it? I never, I never did. I never, it like, just, sometimes you miss those shows. That, I'll go back and watch it. I wanted to. Excited, Remember, I wanted I, to hate it because Rob loved it so much. I was like, this is right. going to be terrible. Right. And I started watching and I was like, this mother effer, Rob, <laughs> found, and I hate to give him credit. And I, you know, when, when I, when you I, you love it, right? You, love you absolutely show, love it. I will go, I don't ever go back to watch it. Anything. Yeah, I'll watch random episodes I out will, of sequence. I will throw it on. So I just because it's you you catch something new every time, especially within Louis's character. Yeah, and you want to think that Louis Anderson playing an elder mother is like stunt casting for a cheap joke. It takes you ninety seconds to forget the fact that it's him. Yeah. That it's him because yeah. it is such a sweet real character it's like the center of this weird universe yeah. it's really and, you know and, so and the, the thing about it is uh the uh, we talked so about it when we talked about bob saget as well the comedy community and how cutthroat and all that yeah. i think it's a really loving community i think it is i think that a lot of these people that when they do make it when they get big uh a lot of that uh, angst and insecurity uh is replaced by uh i feel lucky and i mm -hmm. want to help other people i yeah. really do think a lot of guys are like that. I mean, one of the sweetest, nicest, kindest people we've ever dealt with is Pat Oswald, who's one yes. of the greatest comedians yes. ever. And, uh, you know, we that's our, our personal experience with that. Uh, and Louis was great. And look, all we have is the moment we have with him. Uh, and so when someone comes on this show, and we've lost so many people recently, uh, and they give you the A material. Louis Anderson was one of those people. You know people. who else was great like that was when we had Kevin Meany on. Yes. Kevin Meany was always yes. fantastic on, when on. he would come in. John Madden, the great yep. John mm -hmm. Madden, came in and did shtick. Yeah. It was so much fun to, to have that. Uh, but I'm so glad that we mentioned Louis Anderson because I think it's important to point out that you know he's really way up there. And the, the last thing I wanted to ask you about, so do you think – because I, I, I try to be as savvy with what is uh, the, the, the correctness of the day – when it comes to a fat guy making self-deprecating fat jo jokes about himself, would that that would not go today, right? That would be he would be called out by cer uh, a certain group of people, or could you get away with that? Because I love making fat jokes there, about myself. Are, I do too. I, really I do. do too. Uh, there are enough comedians now that still do that at a, at, without without the, the obvious uh, joke. This, I mean, that was like pop, 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 all the hits, right? Yeah, boom, boom, right. boom. So the, right. the, the jokes that are made now that that I at least I see from comedians that. Uh, or a little overweight are not as obvious. They're more self-deprecating personally. 
Uh, yeah, that's kind of what you, you can get yeah, away with yeah, it. Yeah. And it, yeah. uh, but there, like, if you're gonna do it, uh, it's like great cooking. All right, when you're doing that kind of stand up and you distill it down to some really simple, phenomenally funny stuff, that was textbook, and that's why Louis Anderson to this day has the reputation of uh, of on that particular iteration of the Tonight Show with Johnny Carson being one of the uh, the best ever. It really, really was uh, special. We have to take a uh, break. When we come back here, ladies and gentlemen, I will tell you about uh, dropping in with uh, the fan club. A little drop uh, in. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, we had a very nice dining experience. Uh, that was uh, followed by, you know, uh, an adult beverage or two, which was followed by <laughs> me talking to the fan club in the dark. Uh, I'll tell you all about it when we come back. <laughs> and now, tales of aviation history with TMOS P1 listener, Captain Joel Rogers. Well, folks from the flight deck, this is Captain Joel Rogers. On behalf of all 61 members of your Frankfurt-based flight crew, it's been a pleasure having the 36 of you on board our transatlantic flight today. We've begun our initial descent into the New York area where the weather scattered clouds and isolated thunderstorms. As a reminder, instead of duty-free shopping on your arrival, why not visit the Mike O'Mara Show Shopping Center for all your in-flight needs? Target and Walmart have everything for your comfort and onboard snacking. Visit MikeO'MaraShow.com and click the banner to place an order. Because of the headwinds extending our flight time to 77 hours. The local time is 7.25 p.m. on May 6th, 1937. Let me be the first to welcome you to Manchester Township, New Jersey. We know you have a choice in rigid airship travel, and we thank you for flying to Hindenburg. <laughs> Still haven't gotten tired of that's that one. Good, I don't know why. Good uh, welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show, brought to you by Freshly. Food that's fast doesn't have to be fast food. Freshly offers quality meals without the hard work. Their meals are designed by nutritionists, cooked by chefs, then delivered fresh to your door. Other meal deliveries need to be prepped and cooked, but Freshly is ready to eat in three minutes. No one wants to spend an hour cooking dinner after a rough day, especially a Monday. Right? You want to come home, you want to put it in the microwave, and it's ready. Skip the grocery shopping and dirty dishes. Your Freshly meals arrive cooked and fresh every week. Use the Freshly website or app to find meals that fit your lifestyle with plans that work for your dietary needs. I believe, Oscar, the meatballs are, uh, oh, are like way up absolutely. there for you. Yes. And then the, the, uh, the beef sirloin, fantastic. If you've got any di- uh, diet requirements that you, maybe you're starting something new in the new year, mm-hmm. they've right. got it. Oh, they've got you yeah. covered. Yeah. And they have they've family size uh, yeah. for your dietary needs, your preferences. Uh, you, you know, Freshly is so easy and so perfect every time. Stop stressing about dinner right now. Freshly offering our listeners $40 off your first two orders when you go to Freshly.com slash TMOS. That's $40 off Freshly.com slash TMOS. Yes. So, uh, you know, even within the three of us, I think there is a competitiveness that exists with the three of us. I think it it happens occasionally. So when somebody on the show will uh, do something that benefits the show, but something that you didn't do, like Rob uh, logging in with one of the uh, fan club Zoom calls, uh, it kind of sticks back here. And I said, you know, that's nice that he did that. Uh, uh, you know, the, you don't the, say the, that off air, actually. You, you, I, uh, you get annoyed no, no, and you, you say he cheapens the brand. Yeah, that was yeah, the actual I, uh, quote. Yeah, yeah. Did I really say yes. cheapen the brand? Yeah, yeah. I believe that's, uh, that also yeah, stuck yeah. back If you here. just give it away, uh, why are they ever going to want to do it? it uh, when you need it well i did i said it because i think at that particular what do i hear Can we turn the sound effects off please carla <laughs> is she playing Jeez, her please god you have to live in the kitchen when i'm doing the show i want to be in the other room <laughs> is she playing her video game her bar video game no, it's like she, Carla's got a pretty tight schedule, and she she'll schedule different things, and then you know, I'll hear this harp music, and it's this sound that goes, ding, 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 I was yelling at you for not doing something correctly, and it was like either the audio board or the copy or something like that. And I was giving you a hard time, and it said maybe less time with the the fan club and uh, you know watering that down this, the brand. This and, reminds uh, me of the know. time when we were in Reno, and 
you said nobody. Nobody. But nobody. To your room and stay yeah. in your room. I don't want to see you guys gambling, mingling. Right. We what well, showtime is showtime, and then you could make an you know, intermingle. It's days like this that I think Oscar wakes up, comes into the studio, and says to himself quietly, I hate Mike. I hate Mike. <laughs> no, I hate Mike. You can't I'm, rewrite history with with us in front of I you. I get it. I get that moment. I know. I'm sorry. I, uh, it was my gambling compulsion that made me do that. You yeah, know, but the, the, the fan club thing doesn't bother me, but the the gambling thing will always always yes. bother me. That I told you to like stay in your yeah, room for yeah. so 48 hours. And I believe like, you actually. Yeah, said, that was very like that was very like, lock uh, it. You said use the slide thing on top. Yeah, lock yeah, it. Yeah, do yeah, not lock, leave yeah. your room. And then all we get are reports of you. Drinking, gambling, hanging out with her. We're like, no, what? Yeah, no, what no, 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 no. Now that's not right. I was not hanging out. I was trying to hide. I was trying that the, the whole Pony reason for that. He said he could go down to the casino and track you by smelling the cigarette butts. He said yeah. it was like a western. <laughs> yeah, I would pick up the cigarette butt and I'm like this. It's it's still warm. He's we went near this here. Way. <laughs> you are full of s. No, all right, that was what a joke. I was doing. Was this, it had nothing to do with me wanting to hang out and say, "Hey, uh, here I am." Mm-hmm. You know, I don't do that prior right. prior to a show. Right after a show, uh, fantastic. Mm. But prior to a show, I was just it was the gambling thing. I know it was the gambling a, compulsion. And, and you know what? In the uh, <laughs> oh, look at that! There we go. Screenshot. Uh, <laughs> Screen save. It was the gambling thing, but the thing my my lack of self discipline was the laziness of not wanting to go to another, another hotel yeah, exactly. to gamble and thinking I could get away with it yeah. and hiding like literally back in a corner. And yeah. It's like, hey, Mike, and uh, you know, immediately looking over and seeing somebody go. <laughs> um, <laughs> The fake Lost mustache didn't fool anybody. Uh, so, Friday night, I think it was Friday night, right? They do their Zoom yes, calls Friday, on Friday night. It was night. Friday night. Yeah. So, this was uh, the big win with the uh, poor sport coach, and then uh, a uh, a mom and grandma were going to uh, this uh, Mexican restaurant after the game, and we joined them there. And so, we had a little uh, secret stash at the game, a little vino vino, sure. uh, watching the uh, flag football game. Is that game, a poorly then, kept secret? I mean, all the parents do it, yeah. right? I don't think so. To be to be if I can be brutally honest with you, I don't think so. I I don't think Hey Carla. Oh, she's not here. I'd like to ask her what she thinks the percentage. I think there are some parents, but we put uh, a little vino in a solid colored uh dispenser and then we pour it into but but we had open glasses i had were, a uh, i had imagined you with one of those leather wine skins no it's no it's a i don't because to be honest with you i still don't know if that is proper uh etiquette i really have no I, idea i would say the etiquette is appropriate but it's probably a it's probably a law break i don't know and I'd have to ask. Yeah. You know. so, well, and, don't, don't but, ask, Mike. I don't think you uh, need to ask. But, no, but I mean, I'd just like to know if there are any other parents that are doing that. I don't think so. I think that, uh, you know, it's like, uh, you know, Team Alcohol is uh, is a very narrow group with a big sign that says O'Mara in neon Mike, over Mike, as long it, as know? he's scoring 14 points a game, they're going to look the other way. So we go to this new joint. It's called, uh, and it's a very clever name for a restaurant that serves Mexican food and and beverages, as a matter of fact. So uh, this can is, I, I guess? think they put a, uh, you, absolutely, you can guess because you'll get it. Is it El Cantino? No. <laughs> El it Cantino. Start, I'll give you a hint. It starts with a mister. Mr. Oh. Pedro's? No. Mr. Hmm. Well, if you had a Mexican restaurant, what would you name it? Mr. Mr. Guapo? No. I, I might have to do this exercise until we get a winner because I think it's that easy. All right. Um, Mr. Lopez? Think beverages. Oh, Mr. Tequila's? <laughs> Mr. Tequila's. You're kidding me. Like I'm not kidding you. That's, my, it, that's so stupid. I didn't guess it at first. It was uh, the margaritas. It's not even were, Senor Tequila? Doesn't it's matter to me. Mr. That, we, we have No, <laughs> Senor Tequila is down the street. Of course it is. <laughs> and Iguanami is down the street further. Yeah, There's a lot of Mexican yeah. down here. Yeah, it's like I super love Mexican chicken. food. It's like the super uh, chickens of Manassas. It's and right. it's, uh, it's right off the super. exit. Yeah. It's right off the exit. So we went over there and, uh, and frozen margaritas. So I had a couple. Uh, actually, we bought them for the table and uh, the the mom, and we had a wonderful time. It actually turned into an overnight for my son with her son, uh, and he stayed at our house Saturday oh, nice. night. So it was kids and football and everything. It was a, a family weekend. And then I get home, and Carla immediately wants to go nighty night, and I'm up because alcohol does that to me. Yeah. And I see, uh, I think it's 
I forgot, 10.30-ish or something like that, 10.30. And I see that the uh, fan club is doing a Zoom call. And I, hey, Carla, come here for a minute, please. She comes, she goes. I don't ask very often. You never come on the show. I'll let you promote Derm Glow Skin. Please. Derm Glow Skin for all your skin needs. Uh, Anyway, what what are you doing? Are you here? Maybe she's got a case of the Mondays. God, oh, it's so, such a hassle. Oh, oh, oh dear. That, that's Jeez. a nice sound there. Cool Hi. Guy. It's How a are... hassle when I'm back in your closet hanging up all your clothes. <laughs> so I'm not in the best of moods. Mike, is it a hassle to pay the mortgage? Let me just ask you that. Thanks. Question. Did you hear what Oscar said? Is it a hassle for me to pay the mortgage? <laughs> is it a hassle it, to give you I, a child? You know, technically, I pay that, it. I did, yeah. Technically, <laughs> I pay it. Are we the only family that's, that's drinking at the football game? That's a negative. Yeah. You sure? Would you be? Would you bet the Everybody's house on it? Everybody is drinking. You're sure? Yes. Really? Players like too. Like what? What are they? What are they drinking? Players. Players. Like too. hard Shut up, seltzers, okay. wine, yeah. Yeah. beer. Okay. All right. Good. Yeah. All right. Thank That's you. Cool. That's all Thank I wanted you. to know. Thank Have you. a good day. <laughs> hey, those shirts aren't going to hang themselves. Derm Glow Skin. That's right. You uh, want anything? T-shirts you, Derm Glow Skin. Five Isn't seconds. That weird? Go yeah. ahead. Promote really it weird. right now. What would you like to say about really Derm? Hey guys and gals. You know Valentine's Day is coming up. I can do virtual. Virtual facials. Um, we well thought. I out. have I have e gift cards. I have right. a website, and I What's ship the website? everywhere. Dermglowskin dot com. There's right, a there's there a button on, uh, www button on a website. Yes, button on the website for Derm Glow Skin. Thank you, Carla. Thanks for your visit. Now quietly slide that uh, thing. In. <laughs> Jesus, what is that? Her timing was great there. It's I give her extra gate. credit it's, on that one. Awesome. So, uh, so I get back and I call, and it's really late. And they, uh, I think they had a bunch of people on early, and some of the people had peeled off. And uh, I hung out in the dark, sitting in my easy chair uh, with my computer camera, just uh, chatting with the fan club. And it was, uh, it was fun. It was great. Any key P ones in, in, in attendance? Jim Amato, the Jim man, Jimmy, Jimmy, Amato, Jimmy, good, Jimmy yeah. Amato was there. It was great. There were, uh, it was so much fun. I really enjoyed doing. The only thing that didn't go over well is when I brought the computer into the bedroom where Carla was already sleeping, mm. and I got the hand. <sighs> Stop that. I'm like, you want to come into our bedroom and see where, oh, this is where no, the magic no. happens? You wow, must have been you hammered. Had, you'd had a lot no, of No, I really was. We I wasn't hammered. Bedroom. We haven't even seen it. I wasn't but really hammered. I just was, uh, you know, I was bored. I was bored and I was lonely. You wanted I to was be loved. lonely. Yeah. And I wanted the party to continue. Yeah. Even though I wasn't drinking, I wanted the party to continue. You know uh, what it continue. was, Mike? It was a second location, but a virtual location. How yeah, long, and without any alcohol. How long were you on for? Uh, longer than Rob. Uh, which, which is? I don't know, but they okay. told me I was on. Uh, literally one of the ladies uh, that was on the Zoom hey, call ladies. said that I, that I was on longer. And she said, thanks for joining us. You were on longer than Rob, which is oh. funny. Did you which ever was say, satisfying. hey, <laughs> listen. Yeah. <laughs> I may have. I may have said, I may have said, hey, listen. listen yeah. Did you that. talk about the Ukraine? <laughs> okay, good. That's a good out. That's a good out. We got to get your audio uh, thing going. Go take a trip. Do we, Sound not, re- do we not remember the Cuban Missile Crisis? <laughs> listen, I was there. Let me talk about politics. <laughs> I didn't do that. Good. We'll take a break. Uh, when we come back, uh, Soundtown yes. right here on the Michael Mara Show. <laughs> WLS Chicago. Attention, Chicago land. Are you sick, logy, <laughs> or just feel under the weather? Well, you need me, Dr. Larry Chicago. No matter what ails you, I can fix it. Whether it's a sore back, runny nose, or the COVID, I got you. Just put some ice on it. Come see us at the Chicago Family Medical Group, 1062 West Addison, right next to Wrigley. Me and my doctor siblings, Otto, Arlene, Oliver, and Oxnard will set you up and tell you to put some ice on it. You can trust us. We fitted Harry Carey for his bag. So get our details at MikeOmerishShow.com. Hit up the shopping center. Get a bonus package. And for God's sake, put some ice on it. 
Thank you, Larry. Uh, welcome back to the Michael O'Mara Show. A new year is a great time to discover new things about our interests. And it's just as important for kids to make these same discoveries. With a KiwiCo subscription, your child can make new discoveries all year long. Kids can explore the engineering behind everyday objects, the science and chemistry of cooking, geography and culture, and art and design techniques, all through fun, hands-on projects. Michael loves his crates from KiwiCo, and I love watching him stay busy and challenged while having a blast. From discovering the science of magic to engineering a domino machine, kids can explore new worlds and rediscover familiar ones without even leaving home. As a parent, it can be hard, especially in this day and age, to find creative ways to keep your children busy and challenged. KiwiCo does the legwork for you. Plus, you can pause or cancel any time. Redefine learning with play and get 50% off your first month, plus free shipping on any crate line with code TMOS at KiwiCo.com. That's 50% off your first month at KiwiCo.com. Promo code TMOS, everybody. Did you hear that? Listen to the sound. Do you hear? There's a new sound. Sound Town. I don't know if I buy this, but it's been all over social media, Mm. and it was even on the news this morning. A toddler bought $2,000 worth of furniture from Walmart. He's two years old, playing with his mom's phone, and they said the boxes just kept showing up. Here are the parents discussing it, and then I have a theory that I want to share with you. Oh, you think it might be a scam? It might be fake, Yeah, but here, here are the parents, okay? He just went to the cart, and whatever was there, boom. He just picked... And just see all the payment was went through and we called him, can you please cancel, can you? They said, no, it's already delivered. And first person came the, with the box and he put next to the door. Then second person came, then first step, then second step, then third. Oh so my God, what whole- is this? I, it was a queue. So my theory is this. I have an idea <laughs> of where we can go viral. <laughs> Yeah. We oh, can go no. viral. No, I think, you think it was this fake? is the right family and the right culture to have some sort of baby that could actually knock this out. No, but yes. don't yes. you think that yeah. the woman I watched, had the, I watched the spelling bee. Mm-hmm. The woman uh, had yes. the stuff in the cart already, all right? So don't you think maybe she's hoping if it's in the cart, she wants the furniture. So maybe Oh, uh, you think they're scamming to maybe get it paid for? I think that they're they're trying to figure out a way or maybe the husband said no, no, no. And she said, okay, but I'll just put it in the cart and let the toddler play with the phone. And who knows? Maybe it shows up. Because, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, don't, I, I don't. Why is it in the cart, though? That's well, what you, I want to know. So, in defense, and I'm not saying that you're wrong. Right. My my personal Amazon cart will have a ton of stuff in there that when it's, it's just not time to buy yet. Because I'm trying to time out like when it's appropriate to purchase. Right. Mm-hmm. And then. And, and and that's all it is. And then when I walk, I was like, Mike, oh, it's fr- not time to get a trombone. It's but but, but <laughs> my I- only question is how he was able to do the PayPal confirmation. <laughs> I don't understand how he did the PayPal confirmation linked to the bank account or a major credit card. <laughs> At four years old, my little nephew was doing things that I couldn't imagine any four year old to do. Not because he's a genius, it's because they have access to all this technology. Well, uh, you know, for me, uh, it's like uh, Roblox bucks or whatever. Yeah, Suddenly, yeah. nineteen dollars, you know, wor- worth of Minecraft crap will yeah. show up, and it's just like Michael. He knows better though, but he's eight. Yeah, you know, with that, mm-hmm. and uh, flies like the wind on the football field though. Yeah, Julie always asks permission and then buys gas with my card. <laughs> yeah. May I, Father? May I, <laughs> um, may Dad? I? Could I please <laughs> wrap it right around their finger? All right. Um, TikTok. There's an influencer on TikTok. He's a trumpet player named Sammy Haig. And uh, I don't know why I found this so entertaining, but I watched it a lot. He played his trumpet in jello. He played his trumpet in pudding. And then because his trumpet was dirty, he played it in soapy water. But he so, had, so he, he puts the, the, the horn. Yeah. Okay. And All he right. submerges okay. it. First jello, then chocolate pudding, then soapy water. Good note. The best part about the soapy water, it's more visual. You get to see the pudding coming off the trumpet. 
But yeah, and you know, and the sound really, when you think about sound, that's yes. how you make great records. That yeah. might be uh, something special. I saw something online over the weekend. Also, I haven't tried it myself, but as a fat person, I probably should. Mm. It's the straw challenge where you take the straw, you uh, put it under your. Uh, you'd have to get a long straw, like sure. at Seven Eleven or something yeah. like that, and you put it under your armpit, and it makes a perfect uh, uh, fart sound. Do you think we could play that game tomorrow? That'd be a great way to start a Tuesday show. Yeah. If we could try it and you just put it under the arm, then you blow. And apparently, I, I don't know whether it was fake or not, no, but it's worth getting this shot. I will wait. Yeah. I will wait until tomorrow's show. All right, very good. So if it's bad, it's bad. But Mike, I want to hear one more time. The Jello was my favorite. Was Okay. <laughs> That's mine too. <laughs> but also the pudding one is pretty good because you get like a little pop because, right. you know, pudding is thicker. So he's, he's forced, he's having trouble forcing the sound yeah, through there, the air. It's thicker. No. To get through. When I was, and Oscar, you probably remember the show, because we're roughly in the same, do you remember Fraggle Rock? Yeah. It was a Muppet, it yeah. was a Muppet project. HBO. Yeah, they're rebooting it, and they got the Foo Fighters to do the theme, which is pretty cool. I like this. What I appreciate about Dave Grohl is he's obviously a great musician, but he has fun with it. Oh, you yeah. You know, I mean, there's just that's a cool project. Mm -hmm. Not as successful, though, Mike, is what was trending over the weekend when they electronically put the song YMCA by the Village People and they transposed it into a minor key. So it makes it a sad YMCA. Who did this? This was just trending on, uh, I think it was uh, Graham, I think. Wait for the chorus. Dramatic more than sad. Yeah, I agree. It's a dramatic right? stay. Yeah. It's a dramatic uh, What's the visuals soundtrack. that go with this? It's just the song. It's just the audio of it. I'm trying to That's uh, actually, no, there's a video that goes on. It's those Chinese anal swabs. <laughs> they are dramatic. They are dramatic. <laughs> Even know why I said that, you know. <laughs> well, it's a good mic. It's what we call a callback. Uh, programming note on the Mike O'Mara show. Uh, this just came across my email uh, from Terrence. Uh, Terrence Fletcher will be uh, joining us on Wednesday. Ooh. Oh, oh. So uh, he I, apparently that's the day where it's convenient for him. So okay, he'll good. Be, uh, good, good. He'll coming be in to uh, discuss uh, how some of the uh, you know observances that he's made, whether or not he'll be making any progress. Excellent. I don't know. I don't know what he's going to do. This. I'm really not. Sure. I hope he comes by. Uh, I'll follow I hope up he's on gonna... progress reports. Always welcome. Yeah, you know I, I, I do too. I look forward to that. So it should be. We okay. need two to try. Let's close with this, Mike, and you and I. <laughs> carries a satchel of mirrors <laughs> my you and i yeah. both are fans of wheel we watch wheel of fortune so yeah this, i mean it, it's it's dull suburban life and i'm uh i'm not uh too embarrassed to say i watch it almost every night mike Sad. this uh this obit will mean a lot to you then i think longtime director of wheel of fortune has died at the age of 92 mm. said wheel of fortune viewers wow so young <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> now leaving Saturday Night Live. Please come again. Oh, and thank you, Saturday Night Live, for another laughless 90 minutes. Wow. Well, you know who, the, who hosted? Will who? Forte. They finally got him out of the cast, and they brought him back. Useless. All right. Uh, glad I didn't watch it. Yeah. Too much football. Uh, we got to get out of here. We'll be back with another brand new episode. Get your straws for tomorrow. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. We're going to have the straw fart challenge tomorrow on the show. Because this show, if it's not anything, it's classy. And they don't have uh, to be bendy, classy. right? They just have to be long. They have to be long enough to uh, fit there. Loop and, loop. Uh, you know, we'll see what happens. I'll go to shoot. Uh, I got you. Uh, that's it for Rob Spiewak and Oscar Santana. This is Michael Maris saying so long, everybody. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao. Want more? Make sure you check out the Michael Mara Bonus Show. Get it at michaelmarashow.com. Michael Mara, Radio Entertainment. Sayonara, sucker! Wow.